St. Teresa's Vision of St. Joseph, Avila, Spain. St. Teresa de Avila was a Carmelite nun, mystic, author, and theologian. At the age of 39, the saint began having mystical visions of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, receiving their instructions concerning the creation of a reformed Carmelite order. She had a special devotion to St. Joseph, having received a miraculous healing from him when she was paralyzed earlier in her life, and encouraged all the sisters in her convents to take him as their patron. She was canonized in 1622 by Pope Gregory XV and would be the first woman to be declared a Doctor of the Church by Pope Paul VI in 1970. In her autobiography, she relates one of her ecstasies in which the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Joseph clothe and bejewel her with grace. On the Feast of the Assumption of Our Lady, I was in the church of the Monastery of the Order of the Glorious St. Dominic. Thinking of the events of my wretched life, and of the many sins which in times past I had confessed in that house, I fell into so profound a trance that I was, as it were, beside myself. I sat down, and it seemed as if I could neither see the elevation nor hear the Mass. This afterwards became a scruple to me. I thought then, when I was in that state, that I saw myself clothed with a garment of excessive whiteness and splendor. At first I did not see who was putting it on me. Afterwards I saw Our Lady on my right hand, and my father St. Joseph on my left, clothing me with that garment. I was given to understand that I was then cleansed from my sins. When I had been thus covered, I was filled with the utmost delight and joy. Our Lady seemed at once to take me by both hands. She said that I pleased her very much by being devoted to the glorious St. Joseph, that I might rely on it my desires about the monastery were accomplished, and that our Lord and that they too would be greatly honored in it, that I was to be afraid of no failure whatsoever. She then seemed to throw around my neck a most splendid necklace of gold from which hung a cross of great value. The stones and gold were so different from any in this world that there is nothing wherewith to compare them. The beauty of them is such as can be conceived by no imagination, and no understanding can find out the materials of the robe. When Our Lady and St. Joseph had been with me for a while, I, in this greatest delight and joy, greater than I had ever had before, saw them, so it seemed, ascend to heaven, attended by a great multitude of angels. St. Joseph of Avila, pray for us. San Jose de Greda, ruega por nosotros.